Alright guys, how's it going? Connor here. Welcome back to some more Danganronpa. We're going to continue on from where we left off. She should be safe. The rules only prohibit deliberate use of any other room to sleep. Well, passing out ain't del <laughs> deliberate, but I say we're okay. Fukawa, can you hear me? Hey, is anybody in there? Almost as if a response to her words. Fukawa jumped to her feet. She jumped to her feet. But the strange absurdity of her motion knocked me speechless. She leaps straight up while lying still, changing her orientation in the air. Oh god, why does he have their tongue out like that? And landed on her feet. Her movements were ridiculous and unnatural, like they plaid or paid no heed to human anatomy. Huh? What? Sorry, sorry. I was so surprised I blacked out. This happens, you know, or is it just me? Kawa, are you alright? Why is her tongue out like that? She looks like she's zombified. Totally fine, totally fine. Hey, it's a body. Look, it's dead. <laughs> God. <laughs> what? Yeah, she hit her head pretty bad, dude. This bitch has gone off the deep end. Need to put her in a loony bin. Lock her up, throw her in her room, and just come and feed her every now and then. This bitch is insane. The world is made up of fronts and backs. Nine fronts and nine backs, like truth and lies. You're kind of scaring me. You're not talking like usual, either. Don't worry about it. Actually, I called it a stroke of good luck. But I don't have to a curse stutter anymore. Oh god. Ah, I figured it out. You are not okay. Your eyes are strangely vacant. <laughs> it would probably be best to escort her to her room. I'll do it, but would somebody give me a hand? Did someone ask for a hand? What did you say, Shimaru? What? I've been ignored? <laughs> Alright, then you take care of her and the rest of us will get started on the investigation. Does anyone have any problem with Ugami and Uwada handling security like last time? Not really. Hold on, wait. First off, investigation. This wasn't the work of the Puppet Master. The last one should have made that perfectly clear. No shit, Nagi. Fujisaki was unquestionably murdered by one of us. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Hi, Monokuma! Bingo! There's nothing... But there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly normal. I mean, <laughs> those are the rules for graduation. True. Oh god, dude, that looks terrible. Then it happened again. You're saying it happened again? No shit! The bear didn't kill her, so one of us did. She's dead. That's one of us. Nagi, you are so stupid. One of us killed. Yes! One of our friends. This happened before, Nagi. Why are you so surprised? This literally happened before. Oh, you're getting scared again. Damn, man. You got all. You got some tiny ass balls. <laughs> Is that tiny too? Should we compare? Oh, God. No, that I actually have one. <laughs> Enough fooling around. You came to give us something, didn't you? I most certainly did. You should be getting closer. T you should be getting used to this by now. I got copies of the Monokuma file too for everyone. Okay, cool. All right, then. Catch you cats later. Best of luck with your investigation. Bye. Investigation? You mean we gotta go through that again? No shit, Sherlock! Why is everyone so surprised? It happened once, it's happened again. We have to examine our friend's body. We have to suspect one another. I can't do it, I can't handle going through that again. I'm with Hina! I don't wanna do it, I'm outta here! And where would you go? You cannot escape from this. Damn. How about you get the you get the hell over it already? Blood is just liquid, and its dead body is nothing but an object. That's actually pretty true. Well, aren't you just Mr. Gung Ho? And why the hell wouldn't I be? I'm dead, and if I don't figure out who killed her, oh yeah, true. Oh yeah, you're right, but I need I need time too. What? Do you want to die? <laughs> then do it, and do it quick. You're wasting precious oxygen. Wow. <laughs> you just called that body an object. That kid, Fujisaki, is not a fucking object, and I will not let you get away with your disrespect. Don't jump down each other's throats. Tagami isn't necessarily incorrect. Kirigiri. Our lives are in danger if we don't solve this murder and find who killed Fujisaki. Now, if Tagami's theory is correct and Genocide or Show really is the culprit, we could have more bodies on our hands if we don't do something. Not just more bodies, we could all potentially become victims. Doho, ho fear not, fear not. For Academic Coliseum, a single villain is allowed to kill a maximum of two people. <laughs> huh? Was that in the rules? As of now it is. It is for, sh it for sure is. One person went around killing a bunch of people, you guys wouldn't get to enjoy living here very long. True. School rules have been modified. You can verify the changes from within your lecture idea. 
then why not set the limit to one? Actually, that's pretty true, because if somebody really wanted to get out of here and didn't want to risk going through trial, he could just go around and murder everybody. Then who would have a trial against him? Smart thinking. Because as far as mystery stories go, serial killers on the loose in the academy has a nice ring to it. Wow. One victim does not a serial killer make. Yeah, at least it needs to be at least one. More than one. Farewell for real this time. I'll be seeing you soon for class trial. I don't much understand his logic, but if two is the limit, then that means at most one more of us could fall victim to the killer. What a shame that would be. We'd best find the culprit before that happens then. You can shut your fucking trap! Anyway, me and Ishimaru are going to escort Fukawa to our room. Getting escorted. <laughs> we should get started in the investigation too. We don't have time to waste dilly dallying. We cannot as ascertain who murdered Fujisaki. Then the rest of us will be executed in their place. Okay, well. She's right. I hate this. I don't want to do it. But if I want to stay alive, if I want to make it through this with everyone, I have, I have no choice. Nagi, you are such a bitch, I swear. Anyways. First off, I see what Monokuma file has to say. Yusaki, time of death, approximately 2 a.m. Okay. Corpse was discovered in the women's changing room on the second floor of the school zone. You see, all these murders happen because people are breaking that one rule we all promised. Everyone stay in your room after 10. Mazuno let somebody in. She died during the nighttime. Fujisaki's in the weight room. I don't know why she's in the weight room, but yeah, she died at 2 a.m. That's... The time we're supposed to all be asleep, people. Get it in your heads. Don't go out of your room during nighttime. Fuck. Anyways. Discovered the women's change room on the second floor of the school zone. Cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Death occurred instantaneously. That's all the information was he was giving us. Complaining isn't going to get me anywhere, though. Whether I like it or not, I gotta do this. Okay. Hey, Neg, you do have a, you have a second, huh? You need me for something? <laughs> of course. How dull would your life be if you were never needed? Wow. Um, okay, what can I do for you? Help me. Help with my investigation, huh? I'm enlisting your aid. The aid of the man who solved Mazano's murder. Solved? I was just... I chose you because you were someone I can make good use of. Will you help with my investigation? He's pursuing me pretty hard for what I thought I was supposed to be request. Let's begin. Hold on. Shut up and get to it. <laughs> we don't have time to screw around. I'm not entirely sure what just happened. It looks like Togami and I are working together on... or something. Alright. Well, I'm actually going to have to cut it here, guys, because I actually have to go and do some stuff in the real world. So anyways, I'm going to cut it here, and I'll cut back to when I am back to recording. So anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a flash. Zoom. Alright. How's it going, guys? Con Artist here. Welcome back to some more Danganronpa. Today, we have to start investigating. All the life has drained from her body. All that's left is her corpse. Fujisaki's corpse. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more bizarre it seems. So this is Genocider Show's work. But we haven't we haven't concluded that Genocider Show is responsible. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> it's kinda creepy, but okay. There's blood spatter on this poster. It must have happened when the killer attacked Fujisaki. Okay. Uh, is that the weapon? Didn't want to do that. There's a dumbbell on the floor. And there's blood on it! There's blood on the dumbbell! <laughs> the Monokuma file says her cause of death was a blunt force trauma to the head, which makes this blood dumbbell the murder weapon. Yep. Okay, so... God damn, that must have hurt! Fuck, somebody lifted up a dumbbell and smacked her over the- ouch! It's fresh looking blood stain on the carpet that must have happened during the murder. Okay, let's talk to people. Uwada, what you gotta say, buddy? That kid had w one hell of a complex about being weak. You heard, didn't you? Always saying I gotta get stronger. I do remember her saying that, yeah. Kid was trying to build some muscle, get stronger than this. Though, was there really any need for her to get stronger in the first place? You said it yourself, there's nothing wrong with girls being weak. Beats me. I don't know everything, but that's what's going through that kid's head. I'm kind of curious. Where the source of Fujisaki's complex lies. Okay. Oruwada's testimony. Okay. What about you? I can hardly believe Fujisaki was murdered in this very changing room. I was here just yesterday. 
I do wonder why she was killed in a changing room of all places. Actually, no. It's also possible she was killed somewhere else and brought here after the fact. Indeed, she was rather light. It would not be difficult to move her body after killing her. Although, that doesn't make sense because there's blood on the poster, blood on the floor. Somebody killed her somewhere else and then dragged her body, smeared the blood everywhere. I don't understand. However, at least she was brought here. She brought herself here on her own two feet. What makes you think that? These past few days, she frequently spoke of wanting to strengthen her body. So you think Fujisaki came here to work out? But the Monokuma file says she was killed at approximately 2 a.m. Would she really be working out that late? That's what I was saying. She was likely trying to avoid running into Asahina or myself. We often work out here during the day. She was avoiding you. Both Asahina and I invited her to work out with us on numerous occasions, but she always refused. I can only assume she was avoiding us. So she came in here to work out by herself in the middle of the night. I find it hard to believe she was alone. She wanted to start working out, but she said she was unable to do so by herself. She said she wanted someone to assist her. So you're saying Fujisaki came into the changing room to work out in secret in the middle of the night, and she didn't come alone. Is it a possibility? I guess. Alright, let's get moving. Huh? Already? I'm not going to learn anything by staying put. We need to examine this case from many different angles. I, I get that, but if you understand, let's start moving. He's more than a little pushy, huh? It's like he thinks he has me on a leash. God damn. Whatever. Okay, then what the fuck do we do? Alright, we'll investigate here next. Huh? Does this room have anything to do with the murder? Use your head. Where's the fun in relying on others for everything? Okay. Start looking around then, shall we? There's all sorts of swimming equipment here. I'm guessing none of it was used in the murder. Cha-ching! Let's go. We got money. Bank. What about this machine gun? Fujisaki was killed, but definitely not by this. She'd be full of holes if she had been. True. This camera? A security camera. The puppet master must have been watching it all happen. That's... Yep. That's 100% true. What about the scanner? As I recall, you need to use your Electro ID on the card reader to open that door, don't you? Isn't there something you're not sure about? Then why didn't you ask Monokuma directly? As soon as the word left his mouth, Tomgami clapped his hands twice. Oh god, how may I be of service? <laughs> has Togami tamed Monokuma? <laughs> it seems Naegi has a question for you. Sure, sup. <laughs> um, about these card readers. The card readers only respond to you guys' Electro IDs. Watch out, you can only enter the change room that corresponds with the Electro ID's owner's gender. You also said it was impossible for two people to enter together, did you not? Any sexual terrorists attempting to do so <laughs> will find themselves with far more orifices than they can fill, courtesy of Mr. Gatling Gun up there. It's also against the rules to lend your Electro ID to someone else, isn't it? Ja U C, what? <laughs> That's the case. Then only girls can enter the women's changing room, and only guys can enter the men's. Which is to say, since we found Fujisaki's body in the women's changing room... Oy vey, I can see right through you, Nagi. You can see right through me. This is what you're thinking, isn't it? Since the corpse was discovered in the women's changing room, the culprit has got, ha, had to have gone inside, yes. In other worlds, one of the girls killed her. But you're just reaching for the low-hanging fruit. Is that wrong? Take a good, close look at the school rules. This is what they say. You are forbidden from lending your Electro ID to anyone. The rules prohibit the act of lending, but not of borrowing. Isn't that the same thing? Yo ho ho, I expected no less from a child of the Tagami group. You found the loophole in the rule. This is you we're talking about. I'm sure you left loopholes on purpose to make things more interesting. Oof, you didn't even break a sweat. You're kicking all sorts of ass today. <laughs> Here's a freebie. Not only can the dead not defend themselves, they don't even count as people. Oh, if you catch my judge, so maybe somebody used a dead person's ID? Hold on, you said there was a loophole. But doesn't uh, borrowing someone's Electro ID also count as lending it to you? Yawn. <laughs> Making me sleepy. Take a cue from Tagami over here and put a little punch into your words. As punishment, I'm giving you the cold shoulder. <laughs> oh wow, Q&A is over. Think for yourself. Oh boy. Well, anyways guys, I'm probably going to have to end this here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Connor. I'll see you guys next time. Again, thanks for watching and yeah. Peace out.